All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So it seems that PlayStation first party studio Pixel Opus uh, seems to be shutting down. Um, on Twitter, they wrote, Dear friends, our Pix Pixel Opus adventure has come to an end. As we look to new futures, we want to say a heartful thank you uh, to the millions of passionate players who have supported us and our mission to make beautiful, imaginative, games with heart we are so grateful so i kind of wanted to i wanted to like wait till like playstation put out an, an official announcement because usually they put out some type of statement about this that doesn't really give you context they it's it's pretty generic uh writing but i still wanted to wait to wait till uh see what they said but it probably won't won't matter so pixel opus is a studio that it's they're about 10 years old so that's kind of like a young studio in the grand scheme of things um so they were founded 10 years ago and they've made two games in those 10 years which is entwined in 2014 and concrete genie in 2019 and they were working on a obviously now canceled project in collaboration with sony um with the Sony like movie studios, there was some like collaboration uh, with that. That's obviously canceled now since they're being apparently being shut down. Um, it's a it, it's their smallest studio. Uh, Pixel Opus was their smallest studio, which is why that's which is the only reason why I think this is surprising because I imagine even though they're they they're made they made like double A games, small indie type games that these games weren't selling a shit ton. But it also probably cost little to nothing to uh, to maintain the studio because it was a studio of 10 to 15 employees. That's it. That's 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 the amount of people who worked at the studio, 10 to 15 people, which is nothing right there. There are literal like indie studios that have more than 15 like studios, like actual actually independent, uh, you know, studios that have more than 15. Um, so they were fairly small, probably cost nothing, but they're being shut down. So listen, I'm not going to act like I'm bothered by this or upset because I've never bought a game that Pixel Opus made. I mean, they only made two games, never bought Entwined. I don't even know what Entwined looks like. I don't even know what the genre of that game is. Didn't buy Concrete Genie, didn't look at it twice. So I believe when, if, I believe you're partially responsible for a studio, studio shutting down if you don't buy their games. I didn't buy their games, just wasn't interested. So I can't act like I'm upset. I'm part of the reason they shut down. You know, I, I think if, if you and, and I'm and I don't think a lot of other people really bought their game like that either. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not surprised by this. What I'm bothered by and what I'm surprised by is the fact that these these dudes were shut down. But Media Molecule is still up and running and breathing. If you've been watching me, you know I've been calling for Media Molecule. I know people say like, "Oh man, I don't like for you know I don't like to call for people's jobs and for studios to be shut down." Uh, listen, brother, I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't give a fuck. I'll I'll I'll, I'll say it. I'll I'll be the one. I'll be the bad guy. Media Molecule Ben needed to get the fuck out of here. Because because at least I can give Pixel Opus credit that they were making games. Like games, bro. Like even though they there weren't they weren't games that people necessarily cared about. They weren't games of major significance or consequence that really sold much. And because and, and also, I think that whole because you make indie projects thing that you don't you can't or don't need to sell that much. I don't think that's an adequate excuse anymore because we've seen Sifu sell how much does Sifu sell? Two million. You, there are indie games that are selling two, three, four million now. So just because you make like a small project, that that excuse, I don't, I don't think that flies anymore. Let me look up how much Sifu sold. Sifu sales, real quick. Let me two million. See, and, and I and I consider Sifu to be one of the best, it, it, honestly, one of the best games to come out this generation. It, so I just, you know, that that. Oh, we're an indie studio, so we can't sell millions yet. No, you can come up with a concept in a game that can still sell. So that shit, to me, doesn't really fly fly anymore. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm upset about. They shut Pixel Opus down before they shut down Media Molecule. 
Pixel Opus was at least making games, not at a rate that I think they should have been. And I guess you got to throw them a little bail and cut them a little slack because, yeah, like I said, it's 10 to 15 people. And it's 10 to 15 people, but they made games. They made one game every five years. So, like, their output and their pacing is not great, but they're small. Right? So, but I don't know. I still feel like it shouldn't take you that long. I think... Maybe they shut them down because they just weren't making progress on these games as much as as much as they should. That that and that's that's usually the reason why PlayStation has historically shut down studios. Um, they just weren't being as productive as as they should have been, and they've they haven't proven that they have reason to to keep you afloat. Um, but but yeah, for me, it, I'm really bothered by the fact that I I feel like this studio was more, and this is my bias. Some people may say Media Molecule has more potential, has a higher ceiling. I hate the motherfuckers. Like, I just, I hate that studio. I feel like they're, I feel like Media Molecule is such dead weight. And I think if their next game, whatever they're working on, if they're not shut down before that, they need, if their next game is not a good game and is not a meaningful game that like sells well or at least a game of, of significance, I think they need to go. They need to go. So I think, yeah, they should have got rid of Media Molecule before they got rid of Pixel Opus. Um, when Media Molecule has been open longer, and I feel like, I don't, I don't know, like, I feel like kind of Media Molecule, they're kind of like cut, giving them more rope still because of Little Big Planet, because they're, they're like still like giving them that, because they, they, they made something significant and they got a little... Uh, they got a little, you know, uh, seniority, uh, you know, a, a little weight, a little bit more weight in the game because they made Little Big Planet, which was never a game I, I cared about either. Um, yeah, but like th their their rate and their productivity of of putting out games wasn't wasn't great wasn't great either. Uh, when did Media Molecule open? I should have you know looked this stuff up before, but. Um, Media Molecule, they opened 17 years ago. 17 years ago, and they released one, two, I don't know if you could barely count this as a game. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games in 17 years. But honestly, like, okay, it's Little Big Planet. Okay, this is the P. Okay, I think one of these is a PSP game. Uh,. Wait, what? Little Big Planet? Why are there two Little Big Planets listed here? Uh, oh, yeah, this was, this was the PSP. So that's technically one game. I'm, I'm counting that as one. So that's Little Big Planet, Sackboy's Prehistoric Moves. What Was that a move game? Oh, that's garbage. I'm, I'm not counting that. I'm sorry, I'm not counting that. So that's one game. Um, Little Big Planet 2. That's two games. Little Big Planet Carding. Oh, fucking. What? I guess I'll count that, even though it doesn't deserve to be counted. Okay, so we're up to three games. Tear Away, another game nobody really gave a damn about. Um, that was PSP also, right? Little Big Planet three. But wait, did they even? I thought that was Sumo who did Little Big. Yeah, that was Sumo. So I I don't even know why that's listed under under uh, Media Molecule. Sumo did that. Maybe Media Media Molecule assisted, but that was mainly Sumo. So I'm, yeah, I'm not giving them credit for that. Okay, we had like four games. Okay, Tearaway Unfolded. Like it's a like it's it's a reach even giving them credit because like bro these games don't fucking then dreams like come on bro. I, I definitely think you you should have got rid of Media Molecule before you got rid of um freaking Pixel Opus. Like I I just think their track record is egregious and embarrassing. Like this is sh their track record in seventeen years is shameful. Absolutely, it's shameful. Look, look at the shit they've made. And it's like, even putting aside how I personally feel about this, like I can look at a studio and like not like their games, but still give them credit. Like, okay, like I, I get it. I get why you're still here. I get why you still matter. But look at it, looking at these games, I don't think nobody can objectively look at Media Molecule's track record and be like, yeah, you, you, you still deserve to be breathing. And I mean them as a studio not the people literally you know like why come on bro i i can't this can't this can't be justified play so do you you crazy for this one you crazy for this one for letting 
th- I hope this puts Media Molecule on notice, though. That listen, y'all, y'all are the next studio up from Pixel Opus. You're 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 like right right above them in terms of like how much. Like Media Molecule has less than a hundred um, uh, members, I think. Um, let me see. I think they're around 50, ain't they? Uh, can't really find it right now. Um, I think it's around I think it's around 50. Yeah, it says, oh, that's very vague, 50 to 200. That don't tell me shit. Um, Media Molecule team size is 50, in, including HR, and this was in 2020. Okay, so in 2020, they were around 50. May, they've probably slightly grown since then, maybe. Listen, you next up in studio size, Sony might cut your ass. So I, I hope their next game is actually a good game, like I keep saying. I hope it's a game itself and not an experience, not an art project. And it's kind of funny because Pixel Opus was their other artsy, you know, artsy studio. And I just feel like if you're going to cut one artsy studio, it should have been Media Molecule. And listen, people, people love to say that like, oh, they love art type games and they love the creative type games, but y'all not supporting them. Y'all, y'all not supporting them. So clearly y'all don't love them as much as y'all claim or the, the ones that do love them, y'all are, it's not that many of y'all. Num- like the numbers indicate people in general really don't care for this artsy creative shit. People don't care. It's that that's not what gamers really care about. That's like I think the industry is like the numbers clearly speak to that. Nobody cares for this artsy, fartsy, creative shit. Sorry, bro. Nobody like this is not the days of like when journey and shit. When you could make a game like even though I think journey Maybe, you know, if Journey came out in today's time, maybe it might still do well, but eh. it's not, this shit, this shit not flying no more, bro. Get this creative shit out of here, dog. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, like, like I talked about in the previous video, you got to learn to, to meet creativity with a concept that people want to play and will sell. You can't just be all, you know, like you, you can't just put all the stacks in the creative column and none in the like. The, the game, the gaming concept where that makes it sticky and, and, and addictive and people want to play it. I'm sorry, that's, that's just not working no more. So, uh, yeah, get all that out of here. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell. All that good stuff. Check out Weapon Wheel this Sunday. Going to be some good stuff to talk about. All right. I'm out of here. Peace.